Hi, YouTube. Uh, got a couple of requests to do the green hybrid list, so uh, we'll get some tips, I guess, from our resident green uh, hybrid player. But this is uh, the current list that you would have seen in the most recent video. For eggs, we're doing one of Pinamon, because uh, you are swinging into Digimon a lot uh, in order to get piercing and stuff, so getting the extra draw is always nice. And we're running four of the new BT11 egg uh, Tanemon, so basically every time you're playing a tamer, like digivolving and just drawing, which is always just nice uh, extra momentum. As far as rookies go, uh, four of the Kokuamon, because if you're swinging into Digimon, getting the memory back is incredibly useful, and it's just a decent body. If you have to drop it for three, it's whatever. Uh, and speaking of dropping, uh, the new Agumon makes a massive difference in this. If it's on play, you can check for a Tamer, which obviously you're trying to find as many of as possible. And during your turn, all of your Digimon gain plus two if you have a Tamer, which you pretty much always will. Uh, makes it way easier to swing for magic numbers. One of Palmon. This was kind of just thrown in there because I hate Tentamon, and we were cutting it down from four down to as little as possible. The draw one comes up sometimes if you just have an extra body on the board. Most of the time, it's just another thing to Digivolve in the back. Uh, so that is four, eight, ten rookies. And then two Bokos. We don't really count them as rookies, but they are. Search for your Tamer. Gain plus two once per turn when you are searching. And it's hybrids, so it searches your hybrids. It's one of the only things that can search your Ancients as well. One of Stingmon um, to gain memory back and is one cost evolution, so it's nice, again, for choking and just kind of turboing up. And we're testing one of the new Tyranimon, but this one might go up when on play when Digivolving. You get to play a Tamer for free, so that's just instant momentum. Card is dumb, to be honest. Uh, four of the Beetlemon searches JP as well as other hybrids. Usually you're hitting into one or the other. Occasionally the double hit, but not really. And four of the Mega Cubby Terry. One cost over a level four. Get the suspend if it's over a hybrid or a JP. Pretty easy way to make sure you don't have to spend extra memory to just get rid of bodies. So that's 8 and 10 champions as well. A little bit on the low side compared to what I normally run, but it's fine because it's hybrids. Uh, running two of the new Metal Tyranimon because it is the four cost and you get to perma stun something and suspend as many things on the board as possible and it's inheritance. If you're swinging over a Digimon, you get to trash the top card of security, which basically just makes it a power corrupt version of the Mega Kabuterimon, which is a three Digivolve, but same effect. Trashing top of security allows you to play around options when you're just swinging over bodies. Very, very solid ultimates. Uh, so five of those, and then we're running three of the Rhino Kabuterimon, because we basically run eight ultimates at all times. One cost Digivolution if you have a Tamer in the stack, three cost when attacking to warp into an Ancient. Uh, and we run the run of Ancient Troymon because sometimes Yo, you just drop it for 13. Revelation. Oh, you don't got a big gate, have a gator? That's what is that? 100% oh, that's standing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's <Jesus. laughs> uh, but yeah, sometimes you just drop this for 13 yeah, and hope they can't out it. Um, suspend something that doesn't have blocker, so it s shuts down wide boards a little bit, and it is a target for Ancient Kabuterimon. But just the one of, you're mostly really just going into these as your level 6s, the Ancient Beetlemon. It trashes something itself, so comboed with the level 5s, you're trashing too. Um, so, 5 level 5s. Five level fives. My friends were talking about like how they Two Ken uh, Ichijojis, like, gain the memory back and it is your memory setter for this, but your main tamers are three of Tiger, uh, because reduce the cost of a digital evolution from five to six by one, which makes your five cost a little bit less clunky, it makes Rhino a zero cost if it's going over a tamer stack, and it makes your digital evolution when attacking into two, or fewer depending on how many you have. Uh, it makes all your Digimon bigger by one, which sometimes comes up, but mostly it's just there whilst you go over your JPs as often as possible. So even though you've only got 10, 10 plus 2 Pokemons, the JPs are kind of there as your like extra rookies. Gives piercing as well, and the one cost Digivolution means you're gaining memory off the Pokemon, which is very silly. Uh, one, two, three, four of the Bane of My Existence, Thunder Laser. Suspend something for one as long as you've got a hybrid. Um, sometimes people just forget the card exists. So you just 
suspend something that was left on the board thinking that because it's unsuspended it'll be fine and then you swing over it and do a million damage and occasionally for tamers that rest themselves we've got two ground fangs as well to bottom deck them just to really play around stuff that's overly aggressive it outs magnamon x antibody as well if it's suspended you don't have to deal with it and you know getting rid of a tamer sometimes is a great double hit but uh yeah that's the green hybrid list in its current form using the new bt11 stuff to trash stuff and uh i hate this deck with a passion. Bye.